so good morning students i am sunil george your english teacher for class 12 for this session i am in public school udampur today children will be doing the poetry section from flamingos as you all know there are two books in class 12 english you have flamingos and vistas will be covering the gist of all the main poems that we have in the poetry section in flaming ghost children but before that i hope you're all doing well at home you're all taking good care of yourself and also your loved ones at home you're taking care of your parents as well children i hope you are following the protocol the covid protocol and uh, remember children any violation in any form will only be jeopardizing your own lives and also the lives of your loved ones so i hope you're all taking care and take all the necessary precautions at home children moving on to the class uh, in this section in this class today children we are going to cover five poems from this flaming goose and we're going to have a linear balance of all the poems and i'm going to tell you how poetry draws a linearity between all the poems in class 12 children poems are basically reflective in nature reflective when i say reflective it means after going through the poem understanding it we analyze we introspect and we discover a new aspect of life it's a kind of a reawakening like the first poem which we're trying to uh, cover here in this class today is my mother at 66 which is written by kamla das and this poetry is children sensitizing you about aging and death which are the irreversible process in life and how in our daily uh, rat race of life we tend to overlook so many aspects of human emotions which later on we discover and sometimes we even regret the second poem is uh an elementary school classroom in a sl slum which is written by stephen spender children here the poet sensitizes you to the uh, class divide and the class inequities which exist in society which has existed not only in india but uh, even in all other societies across the world the third poem is keeping quiet which is written by pablo neruda a poet from chile who as owen won the nobel prize for literature in 1971 there he sensitizes you to yourself introspecting the importance of introspection and how introspection can lead to reawakening in ourselves and understand a new aspect a new dimension a new domain in ourselves the fourth will be a thing of beauty by john keats where he sensitizes us about nature Uh, the the beautiful nature and how important it is for us to understand that we have to coexist with nature and uh, the next one is uh, aunt jennifer's tiger which is written by adrian ridge here the poet tries to sensitize us about human relationships how important human relationships are and how often we overlook the small little uh, parts of uh, our lives which we often ignore and tend to oversee which destroys human relationships especially you know in a close knit family so as we go through the entire poem children i hope you'll be able to understand the poems well uh through the gist and as we touch upon the theme of each poetry and also the central idea and we'll be able to understand how you know there's a linearity uh, when it comes to understanding uh, poetry right thank you children over to the class we'll start with the first poem that is my mother at 66 by kamla das here we go <laughs> 